everybody. I hope you're doing well. And I wanted to read you this story in light of the Supreme Court's decision to support everyone from getting fired for their job, no matter whether they're gay or trans or um, bisexual or lesbian, they're protected by the law. And um, it's Pride Month in June. And so I wanted to read you this story called Sparkle Boy by Leslie Newman and illustrated by Maria Mola with permission by Leon Lowe Books. Sparkle Boy. Jesse adored all things shimmery, glittery, and sparkly. Look at my shimmery skirt, Jesse said to her little brother Casey as she twirled into the living room and her skirt twirled out all around her. Casey looked up from his alphabet blocks. Ooh, shimmery, shimmery, he said, reaching out his hand. I want shimmery. Jessie stopped twirling and her skirt stopped twirling too. You can't have Why, Casey asked. Because my skirt said Jessie, right, Mama? Mama thought for a minute. If Casey wants to wear a skirt, Casey can wear a skirt, she said. I don't have a problem with that. Mama went upstairs and came back with a skirt that was now too small for Jessie. Here, buddy, she said to Casey, try this on. Ooh, shimmery, shimmery, Casey said as he twirled around and his shimmery skirt twirled out all around him. Casey twirled and twirled until he got dizzy and plopped down on his bottom. Casey laughed. Jesse frowned. She's not so sure about this. The next afternoon, Jesse went to a birthday party. When she came home, she raced into the kitchen. Look at my glittery nails, Jesse said, fanning out her fingers. Her nails glittered in the light. Casey. Casey looked up from his animal puzzle. Ooh, glittery, glittery, he said, pulling Jesse's hands toward him. I want glittery. Jesse snatched her hands away. You can't have glittery nails, Casey, she said. Why? Casey asked. Because boys don't wear glittery nail polish, said Jesse, right, Daddy? Hmm, Daddy thought for a minute. Most boys don't wear nail polish, she said. But Casey can if he wants to. There's no harm in that. I know some boys who wear nail polish. Daddy went upstairs and came back with a bottle of glittery, glittery polish. Can't you just paint his toenails, Jesse asked, and then make him put on his socks? That's not a bad idea, Daddy said to Casey. What do you say, pal? No, Casey shouted. He held out his hands and kept them perfectly still while Daddy painted his, his fingernails. Ooh, glittery, glittery, Casey said as he spread his fingers wide so his nails glittered in the light. Jessie shook her head. Next morning, Jessie and Casey's grandmother came to visit. Abuelita, I like your sparkly bracelet, said Jessie. You can have one. I have plenty, Abuelita said. She took off a bracelet and slid it onto Jessie's wrist. Jessie swiveled her arm back and forth and watched the bracelet sparkle. Casey looked up from his dump truck. Ooh, sparkly, sparkly, Casey said. I want sparkly. Jessie hid her arm behind her back. You can't have a sparkly bracelet, she said. Why, Casey asked. Because boys don't wear sparkly bracelets, said Jessie. Right, abuelita? Abuelita thought for a minute. I've never seen a boy wear a sparkly bracelet, she said. Until now. Abuelita turned to Casey. Here, Sparkle Boy, she said. She took off another bracelet and slid it onto Casey's arms. Um, there's no reason why Casey can't wear a bracelet, Jesse. He isn't hurting anyone. Ooh, sparkly, sparkly, Casey said as he swiveled his arm back and forth and watched his bracelet sparkle. Jesse stomped her foot and ran inside. On Saturday, Daddy went grocery shopping and Mama took Jesse and Casey to the library. Jessie came downstairs wearing her shimmery skirt and sparkly bracelet. Her nails glittered in the light. Soon Mama came downstairs with Casey. He wore his shimmery skirt and his sparkly bracelet. His nails glittered in the light too. Mama, Jessie cried as she thrust her fists onto her hips. Why is Casey dressed like that? Because that is how Casey wants to dress, Mama said. 
But that's not how boys are supposed to dress, said Casey. Casey looks silly. I don't think Casey looks silly, Mama said, smiling at him. I think Casey looks like Casey. When Jesse, Casey, and Mama got to the library, story time had already started. They sat in the back to listen. After the librarian finished reading, Mama went to the front desk to check out some books. Jesse and Casey waited in for her in the children's room. I like your skirt, a girl said to Jesse, and I like your sister's skirt. Jesse didn't say anything. I am not a sister, said Casey. I'm a brother. You can't be a brother, said the girl. Why, asked Casey. Because you're a girl, she answered. Do you think that kids are boys or girls based on what they wear? I'm a boy, said Casey. You are, an older boy said. He stared at Casey and then laughed. Hey, look, he called to his friend, a boy in a skirt. The boy's friend laughed too. Then he knelt down in front of Casey. Dude, he said, you can't go around wearing a skirt. Why? Casey asked. Because you look weird and everyone will laugh at you, said the boy. Why? Casey asked again. Because boys don't wear skirts and bracelets and nail polish. Everybody knows that, said the boy, right? He asked, turning to Jesse. Hmm, what do you think Jesse's going to say? Casey, Jesse looked at Casey. His face was scrunching up like it always did right before he started to cry. Why can't boys wear skirts and bracelets and nail polish? Jesse asked the boys. Because, said one of the boys, that's just the way it is, said the other. Not anymore, said Jesse, as she put her arm around Casey's shoulder. Come on, little guy, she said. Let's find Mama and go home. Jesse and Casey adored all things shimmery, glittery, and sparkly. She stood up for her brother, especially each other. Even though not all boys wear skirts, a boy could wear a skirt if they want, right? That's called gender expression, that you can decide what clothes to wear no matter what you feel like inside or no what or what body parts you have. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next week. Adios. Oh, yeah.